Today we will learn how to bypass SSL pinning. For that we have a rooted physical device. If you don't know how to root a physical device, don't worry, the video is in the description. Before we start, open your settings and make sure USB debugging is turned on. Then connect your phone to laptop. This is my channel. I create videos on web and APK bug bounty. Then reverse engineering and low level programming. Check out the Android bug bounty playlist from the above i button. One more thing. Open Magix app in your phone and go to super user and make sure ADB shell has root access. If this option is turned off, then if we try to access super user from ADB shell, we will get a permission denied. We need super user privilege to run Frida server. Now open our PC and type in this command pipx install Frida tools. If you are using Windows, type pip install Frida tools. After installing, check the Frida version. It is 17.4.0. Now open a browser and search for Frida server. Open the GitHub page and we can see our version listed in the top. Now we need to find the architecture of our physical device. For that, open your terminal and type this command. Now we can see our phone is based on ARM64. Let's download the server based on this. As of now, there is no server available for this version. So we will check the previous version for ARM64 based server. Search for server. And you can see Android ARM64.xz. Download and save the file. Now open your terminal in the downloader location then type the command xz-ds flag and the name of our file. Then we will get the executable server. Now copy this file using adb push to our android device. The location inside our phone should be data slash local slash temp which is where the executables should be saved. After running the command, type adb shell, then su for super user. We need root access to execute the file. Now cd to data slash local slash temp. Now we need to make the file executable. For that, give it the permissions using ch mode 777 and our frida server file. Then dot slash the file name. If everything goes well, our Frida server will be successfully running. To check that, open a new terminal and type the command frida-ps-u. If our server is successfully running inside our Android device, we can see all the activities inside the Android device. So our server is successfully running. Now the real step comes, how to bypass SSL pinning. For that, we will proxy the phone traffic through USB cable to burp suit running in the laptop. For that, open your phone Wi-Fi settings, go to your connected network, then set the proxy to manual and type in the localhost IP address and port, which is 127.0.0.1 and port 8080. Save it. Then open your terminal and type in android reverse tcp8080 and tcp8080. So every request from the android phone will be routed back to the laptop local host. Then open your burp suit and go to settings, import or export CEA certificate. Then export the certificate in DER format. Save the file to your preferred location in the name burp.cer.
Click next and close. Now open the terminal and we need to push this certificate to our phone. ADB push certificate name and then to slash SD card. So it can be accessed easily. You don't need an SD card in your phone for this. Just type the command as it is. Then open your phone, search for install a certificate, then see a certificate, install anyway, enter your pin and choose the certificate. See the file burp.cer, select it. It will be installed automatically and then go to settings and search for trusted credentials and if it is installed correctly you can see the port sugar file in the user section now open a browser and search anything and your traffic will be routed through your bot suit see the incoming traffic on the laptop screen now we can go forward with the ssl pinning bypass for viewing the app traffic Open web browser and search for Frida SSL pinning bypass script and open the first link. Copy the whole code and open your code editor and paste this file in any name. I will choose bypass.js as the file name. Now we need to make a small change. Go to the top section and you can see we need to push our birth certificate to data slash local slash temp folder. Our file name is birth.cer. So our command should be adb push birth.cer then the location data slash local slash temp. After pushing the certificate open the shell and make sure our file is in the folder we can see our ca certificate and the frida server executable now copy the name of our burp ca certificate and go back to our code and add this name in this line we have saved the certificate in different name that's why we do this Make sure you save this file. One more time verify the names are same. If you have stopped the Frida server, run it one more time inside our Android using dot slash the Frida server name. My server is still running. So we will move on with the target. Our target will be Twitter. For bypassing its SSL pinning, type the command Frida minus U minus F. Then the package identifier. To get the package identifier, open your Chrome and search for the app which is Twitter. Then go to the Play Store link. And in the URL section, you can see the com.twitter.android. This is our package identifier. Copy it and paste it. Now, minus L and then give the bypass script location without bypassing the ssl pinning this will how the app shows whenever we try to intercept the traffic something went wrong dialog always pops up now let's run the command and try to use the app again see the app is working perfectly now let's go to the burp suit and see if the traffic is getting intercepted in the bottom part of the intercept section, we can see request from Twitter API. So we successfully bypassed the SSL pinning. Now let's go to the proxy and HTTP history section. The app traffic is visible there. If you like my content, like and subscribe.